The sexual relationship between Thomas Jefferson, our third president, and one of his slaves was the scandal of the time. For decades, their relationship was told through rumor and innuendo. Now, historians at Monticello, the Virginia home of Jefferson, are making room for Sally Hemings. Laura Geller is here with a new exhibit we're showing you before it's even open to the public. Sally Hemings had already been mentioned in some of the stories told at Monticello. But now, archaeologists are also restoring the room where she and her six children, Jefferson's six children, lived in the south wing of the home. In all of the years you've been able to visit Monticello, it is the first time you'll be able to physically see Sally's story. She was a teenager and a slave. Well, she's probably one of the most well-known people who was ever enslaved in the history of the United States. That's right, a slave who was well-known. Those two concepts don't normally go together. But for Sally Hemings, it's because she was a slave who was also the mother of some of the president's children. Uh, given that we know that A. Jefferson was the father through DNA testing. Brandon Dillard is Monticello's manager of special programs. We can look at Thomas Jefferson's records. Uh, this is a man who wrote down the temperature and precipitation twice a day, almost every day of his life. So we know where he was and what he was doing. He is the only male Jefferson who is definitively with Sally Hemings exactly nine months before she gives birth to all six of her children. It's because of those records, and now the work of archaeologists like Gardner Halleck, that we know what life for Hemings and her children looked like here 200 years ago. Well, it was a detective story. Gardner and his crew had to dig through modern walls and four inches of a cement floor that was once a men's restroom and most recently a storage space. History was literally covered up. This is a once in a generation opportunity. We are the first crew to be able to show you these exterior walls. They were just completed. They're made of a mixture of brick and wood, just like they were during Thomas Jefferson's time. We have just a few of the original bricks that Jefferson's Mason laid in about 1802 that would have paved the floor. We've also been able to find uh, pieces of evidence of, uh, you know, how the room was finished. So this, uh, you know, is possibly where Sally Hemings would have, you know, uh, started a fire to warm her family. What archaeology won't tell us, however, is what the relationship between Sally Hemings and Thomas Jefferson may have been like. In fact, Dillard says the most honest answer, even for historians who have spent their lives studying these lives, is we don't know. Thomas Jefferson owned Sally Hemings. Uh, he was 30 years older than she was, and the reality of a white man and a black woman two centuries ago itself presents a lot of power imbalance, and that honestly, consent probably wasn't part of the conversation. But. That doesn't mean we can say whether or not Hemings did or did not love Jefferson. Denying Sally Hemings the possibility of having had genuine feelings for Thomas Jefferson denies her an agency that she was denied in life. For Shannon Lanier. Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemings are my great, 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 great grandparents. He did not grow up hearing romantic love stories. His family always yearned for more about Sally. When I heard about the renovations, I said, it's about time. The thing about history is when mistakes are made, we try to correct them and we try to tell the truth. We don't try to just keep covering them up or act like it never happened. Now, this new exhibit might not be able to give the complete picture, but at least many believe it will give a better picture a better story than what's been told in the past. A lot of institutions can learn from what they're doing and how they're trying to tell the correct story and the right story. And it's never too late to, to tell the truth. It's never a wrong time to tell the truth and do the right thing. The Sally Hemings Room is set to open spring of next year. We've put everything you need to know about it online. Just search for this story. Laura Geller, 13 News Now.